So we're continuing with our residential project. This is the third video that I'm posting. I had a question from one of the students, one of you, asking about the bird box. Since we did the last time we made face to face, we did actually the front roofs in here. I have not done mine against this gable here, the front, you know, porch gable, but we did it in the garage. It's the same thing, which involves drawing the same type of a roof, only in that part there, you know, and having this part with a slope, but this one will not in the back of it, if you can recall that. And I will do the same thing here, and then I can move it to align it, and then finally, actually, I can do what we have is joining the geometry if everything is aligned. So it's the same concept, but right now, this one actually is a little bit different. You know, it's actually simpler, but you know, nonetheless, we didn't talk about it, so I'm providing this video so it can help you. What I'm talking about is in your blueprints that I gave you that was there, you know, your assignment that you need to follow is basically this one here, usually typically referred to as bird box returns on the gable end, you know, versus the roof return as in the front porches or just simply, you know, gable and no returns on it. So let's get started on this part here. I'm going to go to my roof plan, and here is the back of the you know house. There's basically the that roof part that I want to add, and really it is a very simple thing. Under the architectural tab, I go to the roof and say roof by footprint there, and I want to you know uncheck the roof slope and select this here rectangular. And pretty much what I'm doing is actually I'm adding. A roof with no slope just a, a mass of that roof in this corner and I cannot do the other side yet I have to actually accept this part and then of course it's your choice you can mirror this here or you just simply do it again you know whatever you're comfortable with you know I'm going to do it again in here as a practice and pretty much make sure like there's no defined slope check and draw my roofs in here and then say okay and then go back to my north elevation and i can see it actually right here it's you know i have those two roofs now you can see that these are not aligned you know but that's not actually you know bad what i can do is align them by doing this part here so i want to align it this bottom here this guy to this bottom so this is my destination and here is my what i want to align and the same thing here i'm gonna actually select this bottom of this roof with the bottom of my roof here and pretty much that's how i have it now that doesn't really look like this yet what i need to do is i want to flush them all together and that's the command that we actually need to use which is join the geometry so in here i'm going to click on join the geometry and i click on this guy and of course this roof here and Voila, you can see it basically done. This line is your level line, so it's not part of that geometry. So again, do the same thing. This new roof that I added, and this is the existing roof. And actually here you see it as your bird box return on the gable end in the north side, you know, in the back side of the house. This concludes our lesson for this video.